Hi, my name is Paolo Zhang, and today we are going to present our work on the importance of hyperparameter optimization in model-based reinforcement learning. We know that in general, RL is very sensitive to its hyperparameters. The same algorithm on the same task can have dramatically different performance with different hyperparameter configurations. This is particularly true for model-based RL algorithms due to their complexity and the fact that MBRL involves a non-stationary process where it needs to literally collect the data train the model, and then plan. As a result, MBRL algorithm still requires time-consuming human expertise to be properly trained. To address this problem, in this paper, we performed the first study of HPO for MBRL. And in particular, we tried to answer these three questions. First, how to find a good hyperparameter configuration without manually tuning it for a considerable amount of time. Second, how to demonstrate and address the non of MBRL. And finally, what kind of insights do we get from tuning MBL? So in order to answer these questions, we apply HPO techniques, including random search and hyperband. Additionally, we also use population-based training methods, PBT, and a variation of that, PBT-BT. PBT allows us to dynamically control the hyperparameter configurations and thus address the non of MBL. Let's first take a look at the non part. For many RL tasks, the policy that we learn will change across the whole training. Therefore, in different stages of one task, we might need different hyperparameter configurations. For example, as is shown in the half cheetah environment, we see that the half cheetahs get involved over time, from standing to running, and finally it learns to spin. By using HPO methods, we manage to break the simulation in half cheetah environment, and with dynamical training methods, we get even better performance. HPO methods also give us insights about hyperparameters. For example, HPO discovered that learning rate decays schedule without predefined schedule. One important part which makes PPT work in MBIL is that it also copies the history when hyperparameters are changed. This indicates that MBIL is a non-stationary process. The hyperparameters and the corresponding training data are related to each other closely and cannot be considered or tuned separately. And these are the takeaway messages that we want to give you in our paper. HPO methods can automatically find good hyperparameter configurations and help you improve your MBL algorithm's performance. Dynamical tuning methods can also help you since they address the non of MBIM. Moreover, we show that when you are doing HPO on MBIL, do not forget your training data, which is uh, highly tied to your hyperparameters. Finally, in the paper, we also further analysis the impact of HPO design decisions. Thank you for your attention, and I would like to invite you to have a take a look at our poster.